All right, this is video number two in a short series that we're doing on some drills that you can use to increase your kata memory. And we're getting started right now. What's happening, martial arts friends? My name is Nick, welcome to another video. As far as that intro is concerned, that was just me playing around, having a little bit of fun. We just switched our video editing software over to a program called Adobe Premiere Pro. And not only is this program amazing, it's a monster, it's also doing a fantastic job of reminding me how very little I know about video editing. So if anybody out there has some awesome tips or videos that you think I should watch, toss them in the comment section below. I'm always looking to learn. But with that, let's go ahead and switch over to the thing that I actually know what I'm talking about with and get started with this kata drill. All right, so like I mentioned in the intro, this is actually video number two in a short series that we're doing on some drills that'll help you with your kata memory. So if you haven't checked out the first video, it has an awesome drill that'll really help you with your memory and it'll also get you really tired. So I'll put a link up in the corner and then I'll toss a link down in the description box as well so you can check that out after this video. But this drill that we're going over today is what we call the Kata Relay. And it's one that's really extremely awesome for the kids' classes, but if you want to torture your, I mean, train your adults with it as well, uh, it works great for both. But the whole idea of this, super simple, all we're gonna do is have the students go through on their own, walking through their kata. If they get all the way to the end and go back to Yoi, they'll just start again until everybody gets through their kata at least once. But anytime during their kata, you can just say run or go, and what you'll have is a certain activity that you've chosen beforehand. So sometimes we'll do push-ups, sometimes we'll do burpees, Sometimes we'll run down and hit the bag a couple times with a certain technique. Actually, yesterday we did this drill in our classes and we had everybody do kata with their gloves on. And when we said go, they went against their partner and just sparred for a couple seconds and then had to go back into their kata. So the whole idea is they have to remember where they were. So if we're doing push-ups and they're going through knee on just like this and you say go, they have to run down or just drop, do five push-ups, and then get right back to where they were and continue with their kata with good speed, good power, good technique, and everything like that. So it's a really awesome way to just get them to step away from their kata for a second and then bring them back into it. It's also a great drill for uh, what we call disguised repetition, so not just going through their kata a bunch of times, uh, but also getting a good workout or training something else while you're doing it. All right, so as always, I love to connect with all of you down in the comment section. So if you have any questions, any video requests, or any drills that you like to do that help with kata memory, drop them down there. It's always fun to just connect and see what everybody else has. But other than that, don't forget to check out our first video and then be on the lookout for our next one that'll be coming out very soon. Just make sure you get updated by clicking subscribe and then that bell icon so you'll get a notification when we put out a new video. But thank you so much for watching. Have a great time training and we'll see you in the next video. All right, peace.